Hello, this is Anne with LNR Feather Goats, and this is the um, unpopping, whatever, popping out of my. This one is the Peach Bellini soap. So let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's got some nice marbling there. I used an orange for this one. Trying to get a peach look ish. So they're all going to be different. You can't make any two alike. Do them in small batches. This one doesn't have any on the side. I just got it on those sides. I actually kept this one in the refrigerator a little bit longer. Not for any particular reason, just that's how it happened. I was hatching out, ooh, I was hatching out baby chicks and I was distracted with all of that. So just didn't take it out of the refrigerator. It wasn't gonna hurt it to keep it in the refrigerator longer. Ooh. I like it. It's like a mystery with every popping. Love it. Very nice, 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 nice. I like them. This one has more white. Well, on the sides, it's good. And my last six here. Well, that definitely has a really good swirl there. I, I do like having the white, more of the white in there because it's goat milk soap. So I like to not interfere with the natural coloring. I don't add a white to it, it's the natural. It's just what it looks like. Each of them are very unique, they don't look alike. When I pour them, oh, there was some right there. When I pour them, it's just how it gets in there. I swirled the orange, trying to get a peach look to it. So, because I don't have a peach coloring. So, very nice. All right, that is my peach Bellini goat milk soap. Thanks for watching.